Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ambrosia. Ambrosia is for two to four players, plays in about 45 minutes, and coming to us from Skellig Games. Join a raucous journey as your bee colony flies over a multicolored flower meadow. Beat the other players by landing your bees in the best places and collecting the most nectar. Use your special bees with their unbelievable powers. A modular game board with two different sides and optional event cards provide extra variety. Uh, there have been a lot of bee games coming around lately. Uh, bees seem to be a suddenly popular theme. Uh, it obviously can lend itself to some very pretty looking games, and the cover of this one is surely making me think that this might be another to add to that list. It's a pretty striking cover. Let's take a look inside the box. See if we can get an idea on what else is going on. Here's the rule book, uh, the game concept. You fly with your bee colonies over a meadow in circles and try to gather as much honey as possible with your bees and thereby scoring points. As your game progresses, your bees acquire special skills to help you achieve that goal. The one who has collected the most honey at the end of the game wins. We've got our components here listed. Our setup looks like we've got a circular board with maybe some puzzle pieces to create an outer circle but it does look like depending on the number of players you're going to have a different uh, orientation of those puzzle pieces it looks like this is the two player setup here where you've got um, the central board and then the outer parts there four parts around the outside it looks like you've got a score tracker here okay uh, how to play a turn. Each player takes his turn one after another. A turn consists of exactly two parts. One move, according to the rules below, and then a check if you could move again in the next turn or if you triggered a scoring. And then it's the neighbor on your left's turn. Okay, and then they describe to the movement here and how to check here. And then the end of the game. The end of the game is reached when any player has reached the required number of scorings first. This is the case if all the beehives on the scoring board contain a counter of that player, and if he scores again, and then you've got different endings for different numbers of players. Um, here are the examples of scoring, okay, and royal jelly, which is potentially, uh, it looks like maybe extra powers, explanation of the special counters, you've got special events that can be added to the game as well, additional option, the reverse side of the board, all right, and a little discussion about tactics and more, if you want to know more about bees and their living environment. Well, that's nice. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the components. Here we've got some stickers. All right, so obviously we're, you would have to be stickering some of the components on here, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Let's, uh, I can see, you'll be stickering these wooden discs. All right, our cardboard components. There's our double-sided score tracker. You can see some of the outer pieces that would be puzzled together to kind of go around the outside of this central board, which is right here. Double-sided central board. It looks like one is for perhaps maybe a more advanced side. Looks like it gives you some more special power options, things along those lines. All right. Uh, let's see here. Here we've got, looks like some of the different B powers. Turbo B, the Rebel, the Organizer, the Collector, the Heavyweight B, the Berserker, the Guardian, the Saboteur, and the Drone. Sure we got that in focus for you. All right. We've also got a bag, drawstring bag, plenty large enough to get my hand in there. We've got some plastic I don't know if this would be the royal jelly perhaps our purple crystals there and then I'm not going to take all these out but you can just get an idea of these thick wooden discs in player colors I would assume that are going to have stickers placed upon them that I showed you at the beginning these stickers here Okay, for the different types of bees it will look like. And we've got what I would have to imagine are 
score markers in player colors, wooden score markers in player colors. There's a brown one there that I dropped as well. All right, and then lastly, we've got a small deck of cards, which, if I understood my quick browsal through the rule book, is an optional event variant that you can use to add these to the game, although that's in German, and so I don't think that would help many of us, some of us, perhaps. Let's see. Do we have any English? Yeah, oh, well, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, these are both. Spontaneous inspiration, which I'm assuming that is the same phrase in German, spontaneous inspiration. And then each player can immediately exchange a normal counter with a special counter from the supply. So these are the events that you can add to your game as an optional variant as well. Well, that gives us a pretty good idea of what we have inside the box of Ambrosia. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.